Hi everyone, welcome to a very warm spring. It's going to be 35 degrees today and uh, we're supposed to be just at the beginning of springtime. So our weather is certainly very peculiar here in Melbourne. Tomorrow was only going to be about 15. So yes, if you live in Melbourne you've got to be accustomed, as they say, to having four seasons in one day. Later on today, because it's only mid-morning at the moment and uh, it's already very warm uh, but later on this afternoon we'll have a cool change and the temperature will drop actually today so it might get to 35 mid-afternoon but by late afternoon it'll be down to 20 or something like that and down to 10 overnight so anyway weird weather in Melbourne and it will continue to be that way <laughs> okay travel log uh, yes, I had the camera with me most of the weekend and so uh, rather than um, doing periscopes I decided to do GoPro stuff. So here's some clips from the weekend. Well hi everyone, this is day one of our long weekend so I thought I'd do a bit of a travel log for the next three days. And at the moment we've just come through Bansdale crossing the Mitchell River and we're on our way to Nicholson. We've spent three hours, roughly, already driving, and we've got about half an hour to go. Uh, this is a rural town, but it services quite a large area, so they've got all the facilities here, and we're going to be in a camping ground about half an hour out of here, in a cabin, which we'll show you very soon. So we're going to do some bike riding around here, and visit a few people, and we've got the GPS talking to us. <laughs> uh, so yeah, well, we're really looking forward to a great weekend. The weather is fantastic. It's going to be around 30 degrees, which is pretty amazing for only one month into so-called our spring. So it's going to be a warm time with lots of sunshine. Okay, guys, move on to Nicholson and I'll show you where we're living. Well, here you go guys, this is where we are for two nights. There's our bikes. Jenny's bike and my bike. Try have a chat to the back of the car, but I've already obviously taken them off the car, so you can't see how I fit them, but they go down there. And this is where we are. So let's have a look inside. Ooh, got all the things happening, got a couple of seats, bit of a bedroom, hey, nicely presented, an ensuite, shower, and a little kitchen. Ah, it's going to be very comfortable for a couple of days. This is looking really good. <laughs> Can't wait to get on those bicycles. Check out the weather. This is amazing. Down at a little jetty here at Nicholson. Look at the light. It's just magnificent out here. And look at this, we've got some pelicans. To finish off the day, we're going to go over to the pub for a meal and I hope there's enough battery left in the camera to do a bit of a recording of whatever it is we end up eating. See what happens. Well, the battery did fail, but here's a, just a couple of seconds that I managed to get on the GoPro before the battery died. Well, cheers, everybody. We're at a pub in Nicholson with uh, three entrees. We're making this our main meal. And, uh, and then, after that, we go straight into a bike ride reel. Uh, with some fantastic riding here in Victoria. The rail trails have been converted into bike paths and walking paths. And you can do hundreds of kilometres on these rail trails. And we just did a little bit. We're on the East Gippsland Rail Trail having a great time. So this was originally a, a train line going from, well, from Melbourne. But this is a, now a bike path bike and walking trail from Bansdale to Orbost about 100, 100 k's long and uh, we're only doing a short section of it at the moment but we'll 
hopefully come back at some future date and do the whole thing. We're free of traffic, only a few pedestrians, a few other bike riders. This bit's bitumen uh, and most of it's gravel, but it's just a fantastic ride through absolutely amazing countryside as well. Being a rail trail, there's no major hills to climb or go down. There's some decent ones, but the trains had to be able to move, get along it. So it makes it a bit easier when it, beca when it became a bike path. There's kilometres and kilometres of this sort of riding. It's just fantastic. Coming now to the Nicholson River crossing. This is a big old trestle bridge, originally completely made out of timber. It's now been reinforced. Uh, quite high above the Nicholson River. Well, that's it for now, guys. We had a great weekend, a really good time, very restful, even though we did get into some energetic bike riding. And uh, from now on, we will be doing more bike riding because the weather, obviously, is so much better than what it was during winter. And um, yeah, lots more videos to come. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. There'll be more food reviews next weekend. And we'll continue on our merry way. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.